Oh, man. There's nothing to do. What should I do today? Oh, I know what I should do. I'm going to buy a fitness ball while grounded. Ha 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 Meanwhile, at the fitness equipment store. Let's see if the fitness ball is at this fitness store. Welcome to the fitness equipment store. How can I help you? I would like a fitness ball, please. Okay. That will be $29.99. Here you go. Here's your fitness ball. Have a nice day. Thank you. Back at home. Now. This fitness ball is so much fun. I can use this ball all day. Hey Dark Sledge bro, we have. Oh my freaking god. Is that the fitness ball you are sitting on? Tell us the truth right now. Um, 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 um. Yes. I did buy a fitness ball while grounded. Oh my freaking god. Dark Sledge bro. How dare you buy a fitness ball while you are still grounded. That's it. You're grounded, 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 grounded for 700 years. Go to your room right now. There are... Dark Sledge Bro. Stop crying like a baby and go to bed. So, virtual virus and dark virtual virus. You two wish to apply for jobs here? Yes, Miss Steffi B. We would like to work here. So can you please promote us? Well, you two can get the jobs, but you two will have to complete one session before I can promote you two. Okay. What do we have to do? Follow me and I'll show you. This is where you two will take your session. All you have to do is to give customer the food he wants. If he chooses the food, you give him the food he wants. If you two do a good job, I will promote you two. I'll be watching you while you do your work. Understand? Yes, madam. This should be a piece of cake. Yeah. You can count on us. Are you ready, Freddy? Will you stop calling me Freddy? Hey! I was just saying are you ready, okay? Don't take it too serious. All right. Here comes the customer. I'm very hungry. What the heck is that thing? Is this supposed to be a pumpkin or something? Beats me. Just give him something he wants, and I expect you two to do a good job. Well, what would you like? Give me the pizza. Here you go. <sighs> give me the pepper. Here's your pepper. No! I don't want that. But you said you wanted the pepper. I believe he actually wanted the condiment. What? Are you kidding me? Give me the pepper. There. You happy now? <coughs> Give me the french fries. <coughs> Give me the water. No! I don't want that. You're kidding me, Dark Virtual Virus? Um, I can explain. Give me the hot dog. <coughs> virtual Virus. But I love hot dogs. I don't care. That wasn't for you. Give me the hot dog. Um, a little help, Dark Virtual Virus. It's your turn. So do it yourself. Dahlia. Hey! Don't call me Dahlia. Wait. I forgot I had that hot dog I was saving for my promotion day. Since I now noticed. That hot dog was mean. Give it back. He already ate it, and you just had a hot dog. Now stop acting like a spoiled brat. Give me the hamburger. No! I don't want that! Really? Did you just really have to do that? Give me the hamburger! No! You're getting a hot dog instead, because hot dogs are way better than bucket burgers for you. No! 
I don't want that. How dare you? Give me the hamburger. Fine. No hot dogs, and no burgers either. You're going to eat me instead. Dark Virtual Virus. What in the world are you doing? No! Uh, I don't want that! Uh, you gotta be kidding me. Give me the hamburger. Many failures later. That was terrible! I'm never coming back here. So Miss Steffi B, how did we do? Can we get promoted now? Absolutely not. You two did a terrible job. You two weren't giving out the right food and you ate and threw away the food instead. You're both fired. Now both of you leave this building right now or I will call the police. I can't believe we got fired from our job just because we did a bad job. Now we cannot make the money to see DJ Netsky and Jisperin on the last days of 2017. What now? E-O-V-I-O-B-N-I-O-W-E-B-N-J-K-E-R-B-N-J-H-I-O-W-E-B-N-I-O-W-E-G-B-N-I-O-W-E-G-B-N-I-O-W-E-G-B-N-I-O-
We need some chicken up in here in this tizzle for isle my nizzle extra salt on the frizzle Dr. Pepper my brother and other for your mother double double super size. And don't forget the fries crispy. Oh, Bone Goomba. I can't believe you wrapped orders at McDonald's. That's big. I'm calling your parents. No 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 Hello. If this is Bone Goomba's parents, then her son wrapped orders at McDonald's. Please ground him. What? Bone Gamba wrapped orders at McDonald's. Oh my god. He's so grounded. Thanks for telling me about this. Bone Gamma. We can't believe you wrapped orders at McDonald's. That's it. You're grounded 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 for 750 weeks. Go to your room right now, or else we will send you to Holland. You sure wouldn't have done that? I'm gonna do this. Since tomorrow is movie day at school, I'm going to bring my awkward sexual adventure. Ha 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 At 5 a.m. I just can't wait. Ha 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 At school. Okay class. Today's movie day. We will watch either G or PG rated films. No PG-14, R, or NC-17 films. If you bring PG-14, you will be warned. If you bring rated R, you will be sent to principal's office for suspension. And, if, you, bring, an, NC-17, rated, film, you, will, be, expelled, from, this, school, permanently, and, you, will, never, come, back, to, this school ever again. Okay, let's begin. It can be on BHS DVD or Blu-ray, because this classroom has all three players. Anyways, let's start with Cosmo. What movie did you bring? I brought Descendants 2. Nice job Cosmo. That movie is rated PG. Tails. What movie did you bring? I brought Despicable Me 3. Nice job, Tails. That movie is rated PG. Green Spritzy Princess. What movie is yours? I brought Trolls. Holiday Special. Good job, Green Spritzy Princess. That movie is rated G. Birdo. How about yours? I brought Descendants. Nice job, Birdo. That movie is rated PG. Shy Guy. How about your movie? My movie is the Lego Batman movie. Nice job, Shy Guy. That movie is rated PG. Ball Barrow. What about your movie? I brought War for the Planet of the Apes. Really? War for the Planet of the Apes? That movie is rated PG-14. You have been warned. Please don't bring it again. Okay? Okay, I won't bring it again. Okay then. Dark Hammer Barrow and Dark Boomerang Barrow. What movie is yours? I brought Baywatch. And I brought Batmans. Oh, Dark Hand of Borrowing, Dark Boomer and Borrow. Those movies are rated R. That's it. Go to principal's office right now for your suspension. But not least, is Dark Sleds Borrow. What movie did you bring? I brought my awkward sexual adventure. Hello, Dark Sleds Borrow. What the heck is wrong with you? That movie is rated NC-17. And that movie is inappropriate. That's it. I had enough of you. Principal's office, right now. There are...
So Dark Sledge Bro, why are you crying in my office? I brug myokvart seksual adventure. Eventug hittes rated NC-17. Right now. Hvad er det? Dark Sledge Bro. We can't believe you brought an NC-17 rated movie to school. That's it. You're grounded, 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 grounded for 1,000 years. That means no more NC-17 rated films for life. And as a punishment for bringing an NC-17 rated movie to school, we are sending you to Holland. No, 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 Welcome to Auckland International Airport. How can I help you today? We would like one ticket for our son Dark Sled Bro to Amsterdam, Holland, please. Okay. Here you go. Thanks. And this is for you Dark Sledge Bro. You're going to Holland, because you brought an NC-17 rated film to school and got expelled. And don't even think about escaping from Holland, or else you will be grounded even longer. So, goodbye. Man, this sucks. I shouldn't have brought the rated NC-17 movie called My Awkward Sexual Adventure to School. Several hours later. Attention. Flight 130 and 925 to Amsterdam via Seoul is now boarding on gate 33. Repeat. Flight 130 and 925 to Amsterdam via Seoul is now boarding on gate 33. Welcome to flight 130 to Holland, in Europe. The flight to Amsterdam is 46 hours via Seoul. Enjoy your flight. 46 hours later. We have now arrived at Holland, in Europe. Thank you for traveling with Korean Air. We hope you enjoyed your flight. Have a nice day. Why did I get sent to Holland? Welkom to Amsterdam, Holland. The wait area is for inloading passengers. There will be a no parking. Later. Oh no. Na wim speaking Dutch, which is the language in Holland? Can my life get any worse than this? Wa a a a a a Seven hours later. Yes. I finally made it back to Auckland. So long Amsterdam. Yay. Home sweet home. Now that I'm back home, I'm going to buy The Walking Dead, the complete season 6 on DVD. At the video store. Hi. Welcome to the video store. How can I help you? I would like to buy The Walking Dead, the complete season 6 on DVD, please. Okay. Here you go. Thanks. Come back soon. Now that I got The Walking Dead, the complete season 6 on DVD, I'm going to watch all episodes of it right now. Later, after Dark Sledge Barrow watched all episodes of The Walking Dead, the complete season 6 on DVD. Now, that was a great show. Now I'm going to make a grounded video out of Sonic and Amy Rose, and make a VHS opening to My Little Pony, Equestria Girls from 1998 by Vacon. Real, not fake.
Later, after Dark Sledge Barrow made a grounding video out of Sonic and Amy Rose, and made a fake VHS opening to My Little Pony, Equestria Girls from 1998 by Viacom. Real, not fake. Yay. I made a grounded video out of Sonic and Amy Rose, and I made a VHS opening to My Little Pony, Equestria Girls from 1998 by Viacom. Real, not fake. Since my parents are still at work, I will go off to see Jigsaw in theaters. Let me guess. Dark Sledge Bro escaped from Holland, made a grounded video out of Sonic and Amy Rose, and made a fake VHS opening to My Little Pony, Equestria Girls from 1998 by Viacom. Real, not fake. No. It's seriously fake. I agree with you Emily. My Little Pony, Equestria Girls was made by DHX Media, Hasbro Studios, and Screen Vision, not Viacom, and it was released on June 15, 2013, not 1998. And he should also know that grounded videos out of popular fictional characters like Sonic and Amy Rose can get him tons of dislikes on YouTube. And he also bought The Walking Dead, the complete season 6 on DVD. That's it. We're calling his parents right now. 152 minutes later. He should have not escaped from Holland, bought The Walking Dead, the complete season 6 on DVD, made a grounded video out of Sonic and Amy Rose, and made a fake VHS opening to My Little Pony, Equestria Girls from 1998 by Viacom. Real, not fake. I know. He is going to be in huge trouble when he gets home. Oh shoot. I'm busted. Oh yes you are. Dark Sledge Brawl. How dare you escaped from Holland, bought The Walking Dead, the complete season 6 on DVD, made a grounded video out of Sonic and Amy Rose, and made a fake VHS opening to My Little Pony, Equestria Girls from 1998 by Viacom. Real, not fake. The Walking Dead. The complete season 6 on DVD is rated R. Plus, making grounded videos out of Sonic and Amy Rose can get you tons of dislikes on YouTube. And My Little Pony, Equestria Girls was made by DHX Media, Hasbro Studios, and Screen Vision, not Viacom. And it was released on June 15, 2013, not 1998. And what else did you do after that? Um. I. Saw. Jigsaw. In. Theaters. Oh, 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 We can't believe you saw Drake's oh, 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 you're grounded big time for escaping from Holland, bought The Walking Dead, the complete season 6 on DVD, made a grounded video out of Sonic and Amy Rose, made a fake VHS opening to My Little Pony, Equestria Girls from 1998 by Viacom. Real, not fake, and saw an NC-17 rated film called Jigsaw in theaters. Everyone. I'm very sorry. Will you please accept my apology and forgive me? No. Your apologies and forgiveness is denied Dark Sledge Bro. Now it's time to give you punishments. First punishment, slappings. Next punishment, butt beatings. And finally, putting a nappy on you. Oh no. Not nappies. Anything but a nappy. Oh yes you're wearing nappies. Lay on the floor, now. But Emily. On the floor, now. Okay fine. Ouch. That hurts. It's throbbing me. I don't care if it's throbbing you. You will go pee pees and poo poos in your nappy instead of the toilet, and I will set fire all of your underwear and smash the toilet. Now I will call Lumpy Toasters to come over here and teach you a lesson. One hour later. Wow Dark Sledge Brawl. 
It looks like you have a lot of visitors here to see you. These are Lumpy Toasters YouTubers, Dave Matson's characters, Mario and Sonic characters, plus your teacher and principal. And they all going to teach you a lesson. Starting right now. I'm Lumpy Toasters. I can't believe you brought an NC-17 rated film to school and got sent to Holland. I'm Neighborhood Animation. I can't believe you escaped from Holland and bought The Walking Dead, the complete season 6 on DVD. I'm Weather Star 4000 Video. I heard that you made a grounded video out of Sonic and Amy Rouse. I'm Princess Scarlet Angel. I also heard that you made a fake VHS opening to My Little Pony, Equestria Girls from 1998 by Viacom. Real, not fake. I'm Ryan the Mem Maker 1998. Dark Sledge Bro. My Little Pony, Equestria Girls was made by DHX Media, Hasbro Studios, and Screen Vision, not Viacom, and it was released on June 15, 2013, not 1998. I'm Steffi B. I can't believe you saw Jigsaw in theaters. I'm Suya. Dark Sledge Bro, Jigsaw is rated NC-17. And that movie is inappropriate. I'm at the Go Animator. And you don't deserve any respect because you are always getting into trouble. I'm Samster5677, and when Christmas comes, we will call Santa and tell him not to give you any presents this year and in the future. I'm Baby Mario Brothers. And if you terminate my second YouTube account, I will really terminate you. I'm Sarah West, and you should be banned from NC-17 rated films forever. I'm Leon Francis. And you are a very bad bro character who always watches NC-17 rated movies, and getting into trouble. I'm Taco too, and you should be banned from making user videos. Because user videos on YouTube can get you terminated. I'm Jack the Maker Guy, and you should also be banned from making user rants as well, because user rants violates YouTube's terms of service. I'm Jessica Lane, and when New Year's Eve comes, you will not be going to Bay of Islands New Year's Eve 2017. I'm Charlie Brown and Kanye Yesbongo no, and you are not allowed to make fetish pictures on DeviantArt, because fetish pictures on DeviantArt are inappropriate. I'm VTM on YT, and you should be ashamed of yourself for what you have done. I'm Microsoft Sam, and if you steal my Rafflecopter, I will kill you with an AK-47 gun. I'm Microsoft Mike, and if you call me a lady and say I talk like a lady, I will plant you in the ground with my tantrum. I'm Microsoft Mary, and if you call me a man and say I talk like a man, I will give you tons and tons of butt beatings. I'm Microsoft Anna, and if you dare mess with me and make one false move on me, I will zap you with my laser eye powers. I'm Rita Rover here Scotty, and if you steal my bologna sandwiches, I will swatch you 80 times with a wooden paddle, and if you fire me, I'll kill myself, and if you deny responsibility, you will be in jail for perjury. I'm Gula, and if you call me Fatso, I will show you across your room and I will send your sorry not to the audience. I'm Andy, and if you dare kick me in the crotch, I will give you a hard wedgie, and you will be covered in skin marks. I'm Mario. And you should be banned from making fake VHS openings. I'm Luigi, and you suck for being a bad boy. I'm Princess Peach, and when your birthday comes, you get nothing on your birthday. I'm Princess Daisy, and you should be banned from every movie theater that has NC-17 rated films. I'm Yoshi, and you should also be banned from watching movies that are pornographic. I'm Birdo, and you should be banned from watching rated hour films as well. I'm Cosmo, and the next time you cause trouble at school, you will get worse. I'm Tails, and you should never be allowed to bully everyone ever again. I'm Sonic, and I hate you so much for making a grounded video out of me and Amy Rouse. I'm Amy Rose, and I totally agree with Sonic. Never make grounded videos out of me and Sonic. I'm Julie Smurf, and you are a bad 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 student of mine. And I'm Principal Bianca. And I agree with Julie Smurf, and you are also a very bad 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 student of mine. This will teach you a strong strict painfully severe lesson. You will be doing 2 million pages of homework every day until you graduate. You will be wearing nappies for the rest of your life. We will also delete all of your internet accounts. You will also be doing tons of chores and community service. 
We will also take The Walking Dead, the complete season 6 on DVD away from you and give it to Lazy Butterfly. You are also banned from making fake VHS openings for good. You also owe Lazy Butterfly $50,000 fine for illegal possession of rated NC-17 films. There will be no porn, no peaches and cream, no rated NC-17 films, no Grand Theft Auto games, no Fifty Shades of Grey, and no more other porn-related stuff. You will watch shows like Barney, Bob the Builder, Teletubbies, Caillou, Dora the Explorer, and more. You are also forced to watch films that do not come from porn. There will also be no fast food places, no deviant art, no fetish pictures, no friends, and furthermore. You will also forget your memories captured by porn. You are also banned from bringing MC-17 rated films to school. You will also play Crash and Spurro games that do not come from porn, like Crash Bandicoot, Insane Trilogy, Spurro Year of the Dragon, Crash of Ash, Spurro 2, Ripto's Rage, Crash Team Racing, Spurro the Dragon, Crash 3, Warped, and all other Crash and Spurro games that are not pornographic. You are also forced to play with toys from Toy World as well. You will also play educational video games like Computer Classroom, Reader Rabbit, Leapfrog, and all other educational video games that do not come from porn. You will also forget your memories captured by NC-17 rated films as well. You will also watch primetime shows like Shortland Street, Coronation Street, Home and Away, Neighbors, The Simpsons, Family Guy, American Dad, and more primetime shows. You are only permitted to purchase or rent G, PG, and PG-13 rated films, and no more rated R movies allowed. You will also forced to listen to artists like Chicago, Foreigner, Toto, Bonnie Tyler, Paul Young, Cindy Lauper, Roxette, The Beast, Bee Gees, and other artists you hate as well. You are also forced to listen to girl music like, New Rules, What About Us, Sorry Not Sorry, Gorgeous, and all other girl music you hate as well. You are only allowed to eat organic fruits and vegetables, and no processed food allowed because you are banned from stealing people's junk food. You are also forced to eat raw eggs, Swiss cheese, grape nuts, prunes, and other disgusting stuff as well. You are also forced to eat out from the rubbish bin as well. You are also forced to watch girl shows like Strawberry Shortcake, My Little Pony, The Power Puff Girls, Totally Spies, The Saddle Club, and all other girls shows you hate as well. We will also turn your bedroom into a Labour Party girls bedroom, paint the walls red, and replace all of your stuff with Jacinda Ardern stuff. You will also go to military school, and you will do the obstacle course every day without any breaks. You will also go to summer school and night school along with your 2 million pages of homework every day until you graduate. You will only need very cold water whenever you need to take a shower or bath. You are only allowed to have cold breakfasts, cold lunches, and cold dinners as well. You are also banned from making fetish videos on YouTube. You are also banned from making grounded videos out of users on YouTube, because that can get you terminated. You will also go to summer camp for troubled teens, and you will do jumping jacks and push-ups every day without any breaks. You are also banned from every movie theater that has rated R and then C-17 films. You are also banned from going places and doing things while grounded. You are also forced to sleep outside, even when there is rain, hail or snow. And if you keep this up, you will be grounded even more, and you will be sent to Norway or other non-English speaking countries. I agree with all of them. Me too. Get in the house and go straight to your room right now. Or else we will send you to Norway. There are... Hey Dad. What is it Doc Hammer bro? Can I please install Call of Duty? World War II on your computer? No. But Dad, I already tried it on my computer, and it requires 25 gigabytes of space to play. And yours is fast and it has 100 gigabytes.
I don't care. My computer is a business computer, not a gaming computer, which means my computer is a private computer. Nobody is allowed on that computer except me. And if you install that game, it will crash and give me blue screen of death. But dad. No buds. You are not allowed to install Call of Duty, World War II on my computer and that's final. Now go to your room and do something. Dang it. This game still requires 25 gigabytes of space, even if I add it to downloads. Dark Hammer Bro. I'm going to the supermarket to buy some essentials. Your mom is at your nana's house and it will be back tonight. Do not cause any trouble. I'll be back soon. Now that my dad is gone, I will install Call of Duty World War II on his computer. Ha 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 ha. This is my dad's office. Now to install Call of Duty World War II. I better go back to my room before my dad sees me. Now that I have returned from the supermarket, I will do some paperwork. Wait a minute. What the heck is this? Oh my god. My computer fell to blue screen of death and a virus has been found. That's impossible. My computer can't get viruses. Wait a minute. A Call of Duty, World War II PC disc. Dark Hammer Bro must have installed Call of Duty, World War II on my computer. That's it. He's in huge trouble now. Oh great. I searched dozens of softwares to download and install Call of Duty. World War II. And I saw many YouTube videos to download Call of Duty, World War II. So that means I got this game for nothing. Uh oh. Here comes my dad. Dark Hammer Bro. I came back from the supermarket, and I was gonna do some paperwork on my computer and it crashed and get a virus, also known as the blue screen of death. What did you do? Um, I didn't do anything that made your computer crash and get a virus also known as the blue screen of death. Tell me the truth right now, or you will not be hanging out with your Dark Mario friends for the rest of your life. Okay, okay. I installed Call of Duty, World War II on your computer because I was so bored. And I tried to play it on my computer but it wouldn't let me. I'm really sorry. tell you that my computer was going to crash and give me a virus, also known as the blue screen of death if you installed Call of Duty, World War II. That's it. It grounds and grounds and grounds and grounds and grounds it for 6,000 years. But Dad, I'm really sorry. Apology denied. Go to bed now. Wow. Dark Koolipa, it's time for you to go to school. Oh, come on. Dad, I just woke up and I was just about to watch cab videos on YouTube. And I haven't even had a chance to eat breakfast yet. Dark Koolipa, what did I tell you about watching YouTube videos when it's time for you to go to school? Turn it off right now. Yeah, I know. I can watch Super Mario Logan on YouTube after I get home from school and after I do my homework. Now follow me outside. You are going to school and that's final. Okay, Dad. What are you waiting for? Let's just get in the car and go. I want to just get this crappy school day over with. Well, Dark Koolopa, my car's broken. So, you'll have to take the school bus, which is what we're waiting for. And since when your car is broken, Dad? Well, it broke yesterday when I was coming home from work. 
Huh. That's really weird. Because it seemed like it was running fine when you pulled up onto the driveway. Dad. Stop making excuses. I know you're just too lazy to drive me to school. So that's why you're making me take the bus. And don't you have off from work today? Wow. It seems like your car is just conveniently broken when you don't need it. So you couldn't drive it. Dark Hulipa. That's enough. Stop breaking the fourth wall. The bus is already here. So just get on it. Oh my god. It's sex on this bus. Hey Perikepa. How do you stand this crap? Well Dark Cooper. It's really not that bad once you get used to it. Yes it is. It sucks. Hey. Why are you even on the bus anyway? I thought your dad dropped you off to school. Well, my dad is a stupid piece of crap who just didn't feel like driving me to school today. Oh okay. That explains it. Well I really wish that my dad would have dropped me off to school. Because it doesn't seem like this bus has any form of air conditioning. Well it actually does. Only you have to sit towards the front to actually feel the cool air. Then why are we sitting in the back? Because the front is full. Well you know what? I don't think it's fair that those people at the front are sitting where they are. I bet they ride this bus every day and I don't ride it all the time. So? So I think since I don't ride on this bus, I should have the best possible experience. Therefore, I should be sitting in the best spot. Well there's nothing you can do about it now. Yes there is. I can hijack the bus and accelerate really fast so it pushes everyone to the back. That way, I can sit towards the front of the bus. Dark Cooper. Are you redneck or something? That sound like a very bad idea. Well I guess I am. Because I think it sounds like a great idea. Kid. What are you doing? Go sit back down. Whoa. Hey. Stop it. Hey babe. Do you want to watch TV with me? Sure. Wait a second. What's this? Breaking news! A small bus has just crashed into Buffalo Central Police Station. Dozens of people on the bus were injured and sends a few students in serious condition at Buffalo City Hospital. The bus was hijacked and ran out through the police station by Dark Mario and the Beecher for a Dark Trooper. Despite being no other crash the bus, Dark Trooper only sustained minor cuts and bruises. This is terrible. I think Dark Kepper was on that school bus. What if he did not survive the accident? Oh no! Could this be it? Could we have lost our son? Grace, were you even listening to breaking news on TV? Dark Coop is fine. He only sustained minor cuts and bruises. Oh thank goodness he's still alive. I would hate to lose him. Well, I think this will make you change your mind. Guess what else they said? What did they say? They said that Dark Koopa was the one who crashed that goddamn school bus into the police station. That little barker is going to be so oh 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 grounded. Hi mom and dad. Dark Koopa 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 I cannot believe what you just did. You're grounded, 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 grounded for over nine hundred and ninety nine trillion, nine hundred and ninety nine billion, nine hundred and ninety nine million, nine hundred and ninety nine thousand, nine hundred and ninety nine years. Go to your room right now. Oh. It looks like a police officer is coming to arrest you. The... Are you Dark Koopa? Tell him. Yes I am.
Do you know that you have put few injured students into serious condition and even put one student in critical condition? Um, um, um. I don't know. Well, you are under arrest. Get in the police car now and I will take you to jail. The... This is your jail cell, where you will have no toilet, no sink, no air conditioning, and nothing else whatsoever except for crappy and uncomfortable bed. No 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 You have the right to remain silent and you are not allowed to make any statement from you. Good life forever! One month later. Okay, Dark Koopa. You have some visitors. Dark Koopa. We want to tell you something. Are you bailing me out of jail? No. We have come here to tell you that we decided to ground you forever instead of 999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,999,
How dare you not bring your homework to school? That's it. You're suspended for three weeks. Go home now. Hydro Bro. How dare you not bring your homework to school today and got suspended for three weeks? That's it. You're grounded, 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 grounded for 500 months. Go to your room now. No, 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 Hydro bro. I heard that you're going to have detention at your house. And oh, look, here comes your teacher now. Come in. All right, Hydro bro. Come with me. All right, Hydro bro. It's time for your detention. Here are the rules in detention. There will be no talking, no chewing gum, no TV, no movies, no computer, no staring out the window, no food or drink, no sleeping, no whistling, and nothing else at all. You will stay in your room until nightfall. 10.30 p.m. Yay. Now that my detention is over, I can now watch TV, play games on the computer, watch movies, or anything whatever I want to do. Go to bed now. Because you're grounded for 500 months. Hi, I'm Water Bro, and today, I'm going to steal the principal's job. Ha 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 First, I will get out the intercom. And now to act like a principal. Here we go. Amy Rose, report to the principal's office right now. Water Bro. Why are you the principal? Don't worry about why I'm the principal. Anyways, you're expelled from this school. But I didn't do anything wrong. I don't care. Now get out of here before I call the police. How in the world did I get expelled for no reason? Mario and Peach, report to the principal's office right now. Water bro. Why are you the principal? None of your business. Anyways, you are both expelled for making love in front of my face. Get out now. But we didn't do anything wrong. Blaze, report to the principal's office right now. Water bro. Why are you the principal? My reason is don't worry about why I'm the principal. Anyways, you're expelled for not thinking straight. Get out now. But I didn't do anything wrong. Toad and Toadette. Report to the principal's office right now. Water bro, why are you the principal? None of your freaking bees wax. Anyways, you are both expelled for having intercourse in front of my face. Get out right now before I call the cops on you. But we didn't even do anything wrong. Espio, report to the principal's office right now. Water bro. Why are you the principal? None of this is important. Anyways, you are expelled for not keeping up with yourself. Get out. Right now. But I didn't even do anything wrong. Oh no. It's Principal Bianca. Water bro. I'm getting complaints from the teachers that you are falsely expelling students for nothing and you stole my job. Is this true? Um, 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 um. Um, 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 um. Yes, it is. 
Water bro. I can't believe you stole my job by falsely expelling students. That's it. You're suspended for 150 weeks. You're also banned from working in the education sector for life. Go home right now. Water bro. How dare you steal the principal's job by falsely expelling students for nothing. You know that this is only the principal's job to suspend or expel someone from school. That's it. You're grounded 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 for 900 months. Go to your room right now, or else we will send you to Norway. No. All right, class. Get out your mathematics from yesterday. Parabro, where's your mathematics? Um, I don't have one. Parabro, you lied. Go to principal's office right now. No freaking way, you stupid teacher. Stop that right now. Either go to the office or straight to detention. I am not going to the office, you stupid teacher. That's so it, Parabro. Go straight to detention right now. Welcome to detention. There will be no water breaks, no toilet breaks, no talking, no listening to music, no sleeping, and furthermore. Yay! I get to go now. When he get suspended from school, he get to have some fun. Para bro, I said no talking. What? O come un teacher spet? You can't tell me what to do. He can talk whenever he want. I said no talking. If I hear the talk one more time, you're going straight to principal's office. Yeah 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 get to go me get to go me get to go home. That is it. Go to principal Bianca's office right now. Parabro, this is all your fault. You were lying in class just because you did not have your mathematics. But... No. You were lying. You're suspended until December 20th. Go home now. Parabro, I can't believe you lied in class just because you did not have your mathematics. But mum and dad, I'm very sorry. It's because he wasn't lying, it's because he... End of story. You lied. You're grounded, 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 grounded for 600 weeks. Go to your room now. Why? Okay, class, it's time to get back your report cards. I will pass them out now. Oh, please let me have a good report card. No, 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 also, we are looking for date and time for your Student of the Year Awards Ceremony. Okay, thank you! I can't believe I got 0.0, .0 on my report card. My parents will scream at ground me. Oh, I know. Maybe I cannot fake my report card, but I can swap my report card with Yoshi's. I could just cross out and switch our names on my report card. Ha 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 Okay class, it's now 3.15 p.m. Please come back to school with your report card signed by your parents. Goodbye. One hour later. Hi Yoshi. Did you get your report card back yet? Yes I did one sisters. And look at my grades and GPA score.
but lumpy toasters. I thought I got 4.0. That's what I got on my report card. Something seems very fishy here. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Hello. This is Lumpy Toasters. I'm calling about his report card. Oh yes. Yoshi. He has one of the best report cards in Jackaland High School. Well, his report card has a 0.0 .0 and has bad behavior marks. Miss Bianca. Yoshi is a hard worker and would never in his life get a report card like this. What? Lumpy Toasters. I can assure you. Yoshi did not get a 0.0, .0 on his report card. The only person who got a 0.0 was... Oh, 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 I'm so sorry for the mistake. I'll get his real report card sent right away. I'll also call this particular student's parents right now. Okay. Thank you so much. I hope the student gets grounded. Meanwhile, at Curve Burrow's house. Okay, Curve Bro. Give us your report card. And if it's bad, you are grounded. Wow. Curve bro. After all those in grades, I couldn't believe it. You actually got E's in all subjects. Wait a minute. Is this a fake report card? Tell me right now. Um, uh, uh, I um, decided to, uh, fix, uh, I mean, work extra, uh, hard this semester so I can, uh, uh, get a 4.0 GPA. Okay. I'm so happy for you Curve Bro. Let's go to Sky City Sky Tower for celebration dinner with fun and entertainment. After spending over $1,000 at Sky City Sky Tower for Curve Bro. Um, um, Miss Bianca, Miss Julie, Yoshi, and Lumpy Toasters. What are you all doing here with angry stares on your faces? Well, we believe your son Curve Bro swapped report cards with Yoshi when he wasn't looking. We know it was him because he was the only one who got such bad grades. What? Here is his real report card. Oh no 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 I can't believe you swapped your report card and got 0.0 on your report card. I just spent 1,000 freaking dollars on your Sky City. That's it. You're grounded, 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 grounded for 99,999,999 Google's Optiplex years. Go to your room right freaking now. Hello, my name is Amazing Flying Hammer Bro, and I'm going to pull Beulah's hair. Ha 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 Turn around Beulah. I'm going to pull your hair. No 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 Please don't pull my hair. I don't care. I will pull your hair and that's final. Please make it stop. You're hurting me. Bring on over here, Scotty. Help me. Bring on over here, Scotty. My boyfriend. Amazing flying hammer broke all my beautiful hair. Oh Amazing flying hammer bro! How dare you pull Jules here? That's it! I'm pulling your parents! No 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 Amazing flying hammer bro. How dare you pull Beulah's hair? You're not supposed to do that at all. Your father is right amazing flying hammer bro. Pulling people's hair is very unacceptable. But mom and dad, I'm so sorry. 
Don't say sorry to us. Say sorry to Beulah. And your apology is unaccepted. You're granted, 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 granted for 700 months. Your father is right. You're grounded and that's the capital final. Now go to your room. The I'm going to put my mom in her bikini. Hey Dark Sludge Bro, what's up? I'm going to put you in your bikini. Yes, I put my mom in her bikini. Yes, I put my mom in her bikini. Yes, I put my mom in her bikini. Hello, Dark Sludge Bro. How dare you put me in my bikini? That's it. You are grounded, 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 grounded. Now you will start touching my lugs, and don't stop touching them until your grounding time is over. Now touch my lugs, right now. There are... <laughs> oh shut up, dark sludge bro. I don't care if you don't like this. It's for your punishment. Hey Santa, will I be getting any presents for Christmas this year? No, not in your life. You are on the naughty list this year. What? Oh come on. Why not? I just said the reason. It's because you are on the naughty list this year. You are on the naughty list because you gave your dad's computer a virus to so the tool manager's attention, crashed the Facebook website, always getting into trouble at school, and more. And that's why you are on the naughty list this year. Well, guess what? What? Duck him and live! How dare you kick me in the crush? That's it! I'm calling your parents! Get out of my workshop right now! Wow! Dark Hammer Bro! How dare you crotch kick Santa? That's it! You grounded, 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 grounded for 300 decades. Go to your room right now while I tell your father about this. No, 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 no. Later that night, Dark Hammer Bro, how dare you kick Santa in the crotch? You know that can get you on his naughty list big time. That's it. You're grounded, 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 grounded for 300 decades. Tonight is punishment night. There will be three punishments. First punishment, kicking you in the crotch. Ugh. Miserable. Oh. Oh. Second punishment, putting a nappy on you. No, Dad. Please. Not nappies. Anything but that. Ouch. That hurts even more. It's throbbing me. I don't care. Now you will go pee, pee and poop as in your nappy instead of the toilet, and I will set fire all of your underwear and smash the toilet. Last punishment, putting a drill on you. No 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 no. Please don't pick a drill on me. That's your punishment night for kicking Santa in the crotch. Now go to bed.
Duck Hammer Grow. How dare you kick me in the crush? You are not allowed to do that. That's it. I'm kicking you in the crush neck. Ayo. You kissed me in the throat back. Ayo. Serves you right for kicking me in the crush. No more kicking me in the crush again. Never. Since tomorrow is Christmas Day, I am going to write out a list of stuff I want for Christmas this year. Okay computer. Take me to Google Docs. Okay. Let's write out my list. Yes. I finally wrote out the list of stuff I want for Christmas this year. Now I am going to tell my dad about this. Dad. I know what I want for Christmas this year. Dark Hammer Bro. When you kicked Santa in the crotch and gave you three punishments five days ago, you will not be getting any presents for Christmas this year. Oh come on. Dad. Give me what I want for Christmas this year. For the last time, no. If you don't. Get me what I want for Christmas this year. I will throw the biggest tantrum in the universe. You're still not getting anything in this final. I want things for Christmas. 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 Fine. You can have anything for Christmas this year. But just calm down. Thanks, Dad. You are the best. On Christmas Day. Oh boy. Today is Christmas Day. I am going to see if I got some cool presents. Hey, Doc Hammer Bro. Merry Christmas. Do you want to see what your presents are? Yes. No 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 Why the heck did I get a lump of coal for Christmas this year? You know why? Because you have been a very bad boy this year. You have done a lot of trouble making stuff. That's why you got a lump of coal for Christmas this year. But we did you get some presents. What did you get me? We got you some Barney, Bob the Builder, Teletubbies, Dora the Explorer, The Wiggles, Bananas in Pajamas, Suzy's World, Baloo's Clues, and the Hooli Doolies DVDs. These are the only shows you'll watch from now on. We also got you some educational video games like Reader Rabbit, Computer Classroom, Pet Rescue, and other educational video games. These are the only games you'll play from now on. We would normally say go to your room now. But instead, start watching your DVDs and start playing your educational video games, or else you will be grounded even more. Well, it looks like I have to watch and play these stuff instead of those stuff that I wanted for Christmas this year. This is the worst Christmas in my whole life. Wow. Yes, 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 yes. I'm going to have fun right now because it's summer. Hey Blue and Bro. We just got a phone call from your principal. What did she say? Did she say I am the best student in class and also said have a wonderful summer? Actually, she said something else. You are the worst student in the school's history and always get excluded. And also, she said you are going to summer school.
and now your summer is ruined because of your behavior at school. You'll be wearing nappies while you're in summer school. And you will also be grounded while you're in summer school. No 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 I don't want to go to summer school and wear nappies. If I wear nappies, the students will laugh at me. Too bad. The principal told us you have to go to summer school. And that's why you are wearing nappies. So you will be made fun of. Rules are rules. Now go to summer school and get going. I wish you guys didn't exist. At summer school. Why do we have to go to summer school? My summer is ruined thanks to my principal from my school year said that I have to go to summer school. I know. I hate summer school. My parents forced me to go to summer school because I always keep getting into trouble at home, school, and everywhere. I was looking forward to go to the beach and make sand castles during summer. But no. My principal from my school year said that I have to go to summer school. Okay class. I'm in till year star 2020 and I will be your teacher for the summer. Everyone has mathematics, literacy, science, social studies, lunch, homework, and then you will be dismissed. Wait, it's January. We don't have homework. Well you guys have been bad. So that's why you will have homework every day, even in the weekends. Also, there is no free time in summer school except for eating. Sorry. Also, there is a long summer school time. Summer school is from 7.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. So after lunch, you will do so much work for the rest of summer school every day until January the 24th. Okay. Jeez. Anyways class, get out your new maths books. <laughs> Ouch. My face. <laughs> Boomer and bro. How dare you throw your maths book at my face. That's it. Strike one. Two more strikes and you are going to principal's office. Alright class. Sorry about that. I was going to say in the maths book, you will do division. What? I'm terrible at division. I wish division never existed. <laughs> Boomer and bro. How dare you wish division never existed. That's it. Strike two. One more strike and you are going to principal's office. Alright class. Sorry about that. Now I open your maths books and start doing division. No way. That's it. I am throwing the maths book out the window. Boomer and bro. How dare you throw your maths book out the window and break it. That window costed $1,070. That's it. Strike 3. March to principal's office right now. Oh no. Not you again, Boomerang Bro. But, why, are, you, here, this, time? I threw my maths book at the teacher's face, and then I said I wish division never existed, and then I threw my maths book at the window and broke it. Gee, <laughs> Boomerang Bro. I can't believe you did all of that in summer school. That's it. I'm giving you a detention slip. No 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 not detention. Too bad. Go to detention right now. Welcome to detention. Me and Miss Julie will be your detention teachers for the summer. There will be no talking. No sleeping, no chewing gum, no playing on the computer, no making faces, no whistling, no listening to music, no yelling, and no burping or farting. This really sucks. We have Hunter and Miss Julie as the detention teachers for the summer, and Miss Julie is a kike. Oh. Boomerang.
rang bell. How dare you call me the K-word? That's it! You will be. Oh no. Boomerang bro. I can't believe you threw desks at Miss Julia and Hunter the Cheetah. That's it. You are suspended from summer school until January 24th. On the last day of summer school. Okay class. Today is the last day of summer school. We will be doing grades that you got through summer school. If you get an E, you will get three weeks off and move up one school year. If you get an M, you will get two days off and move up one school year. If you get a C, you will move back one school year for six months. If you get an N, you will move back one school year and repeat summer school. And if you get an S, you will be suspended for a year and move back one school year for 2019. Alright now. Here are your grades. Hooray! Me and Cosmo got an E. That means we get three weeks off and move up one school year. That's right. Iggy and Cosmo. You two did awesome in summer school. You two will get three weeks off and move up one school year. Go to principal's office. Yes, me, Stylo, and Yellow Bird will got an M. This means we get two days off and move up one school year. Correct. Buddy Bro, Stylo, and Yellow Bird are. You three did a good job in summer school. Go to principal's office. What the heck? I got a C. This means I moved back one school year for six months. That's right, Zephyrus Bro. You did bad in summer school. This means you will move back one school year for six months. Go to principal's office right now. Yes. I got an E like Cosmo and Iggy. Wait a minute. Dark Hammer bro. How in the world did you get an E like Cosmo and Iggy? I snuck into the print room and changed my grade from N to an E. Dark Hammer bro. One does not simply sneak into the print room and change the grade. You have an N, and not an E. So you are going to move back one school year and repeat summer school. Go to principal's office right now and I hope you learned your strict lesson. I got an X. Can you please give me one more chance? Absolutely not. Oh great. It's you again, Boomerang Bro. But, what, brings, you, here, now? I got an X. Oh my freaking god. Boomerang bro. I can't believe you got an S. That's it. You were suspended for one year. And after your one year suspension, you will move back one school year for 2019. Get out right now. Boomerang bro. We can't believe you got an S at summer school and got suspended for one year and you will move back one school year for 2019. That is it. You're grounded, 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 grounded for life. Go to your room right now and never, ever, 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 ever come out again. I'm going to start a secret club in my garage. But first, I'm going to call all of my bro character friends. Later, after Fire Blast, Borrow called all of his Borrow character friends. Thank you all for coming. Let's watch South Park. Coming up next, South Park on Comedy Central. 359 days and all 287 episodes later. Wow. That was a fantastic show. I agree with you. Me too. Me three. Me four. Me five. Me six. And I especially like that part where Eric kept in a diary while playing World of Warcraft. <laughs> oh no. It's my parents. All six of you broke characters. 
Leave our house right now while we ground Fire Blast Bro. Fire Blast Bro, how dare you start a secret club in the garage while it's raining outside? That's it. You are grounded for 600 months. Go to your room right now and go to bed. And we mean it. At Torch Barrow's house. Torch Bro. How dare you start a secret club in Fire Blast Bro's garage? That's it. You're grounded for 1,000 weeks and I mean it. Go to your room right now. Wow. At Hydro Barrow's house. Hydro Bro. We can't believe that you have started a secret club in Fire Blast Bro's garage. That's it. You're grounded for 600 months. Your father is correct. You're grounded and that's final. Go to your room right now. At Vortex Barrow's house. Vortex Bro. We can't believe that you have started a secret club with Fire Blast Bro. That's it. You are grounded for 300 decades. Go to bed right now. At Magic Barrow's house. Magic Bro. We can't believe that you have started a secret club with Fire Blast Bro. That's it. You're grounded for 400 weeks. Now go to your room. No. At Amazing Flying Hammer Barrow's house. Amazing Flying Hammer Bro. We cannot believe you started a secret club with Fire Blast Bro. That's it. You're grounded for 800 months. Go to your room and go to bed right now. Le And finally, at Dark Boomerang Barrow's house. Dark Boomerang Bro. How dare you start a secret club in Fire Blast Bro's garage. That's it. You're grounded for 900 weeks. Go to your room, now. Man, I'm so bored. I wonder what I should do. I know. I will steal Birdo's car. Ha 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 ha. Oh no. Somebody stole my car. Hello. Police. Somebody stole my car. What color is it? It's pink, with some red on the bottom. Okay. I'm on my way. I will be there in 15 minutes. 15 minutes later. Don't worry there lady. I will catch the criminal. You can come with me. Okay. Is that your car? Yes it is. After it. Okay. Oh no. It's the police. I need to go faster. The southern motorway. Oh, no. They are still after me. I need to go more faster. Five minutes later. Oh no. A dead end. Get out of the car now. Just as I suspected. It was you, Hydro Bro. You stole my car. Put your hands behind your back. 
You're under arrest for stealing Birdo's car. Now get in the police car. You can go now. Hydro bro. I can't believe you stole Birdo's car. You know that doing those kind of stuff is against the law. But dad, I was so bored. So I had to do it. I don't care. When you get out of jail, you will have punishments. Two weeks later. Now that you are out of jail, you're grounded 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 for 600 months. Today is punishment day. First punishment, putting a nappy on you. Oh no. Not nappies. Anything but a nappy. Ouch. That hurts. It's throbbing me. I don't care if it's throbbing you. Now that your nappy is on, you will go pee pees and poo poos in your nappy instead of the toilet. Second punishment, putting a drill on you. No. Not drill. Anything but drill. Later, after Hydro Borrow's dad put a drill on Hydro Borrow. I don't care. It serves you right for stealing Birdo's car and getting sent to jail. Third punishment, closing all of your internet accounts and delete all files on your computer. No 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 Please don't close all of my internet accounts and delete all files on my computer. Shut up Hydro bro. I will close all of your internet accounts and delete all files on your computer right now. Later, after Hydro Borrow's dad closed all of Hydro Borrow's internet accounts and deleted all files on Hydro Borrow's computer. There. I closed all of your internet accounts and deleted all files on your computer. And you will never use them again. Ever. Fourth punishment, you will be forced to watch baby shows, and you will be forced to do lots of chores and community work. And now for your last punishment. Last punishment, Birdo will beat you up. Birdo, beat him up. This will teach you a lesson not to steal my car. Ouch. That hurts so much. I'm heavily bleeding. I don't care. This is what you get for stealing my car. And I hope this teaches you a lesson not to steal my car. Go to your room right now and think about what you have done, young man. Where? Uh... I love the beach. We love the beach too, including the ocean. Attention everybody. We are waving a red flag. Get out of the ocean now because the ocean wave is starting to get rough. If you get in the ocean while the ocean waves are rough for one hour, you will be banned for two weeks. Repeat. If you get in the ocean while the ocean waves are rough for one hour, you will be banned for two weeks. Mum. Why do we have to wait for one hour? Because Curve Bro, the waves are rough. So we wait for one hour. I don't care about the waves or the one hour. I want to get in the ocean. No Curve Bro, the lifeguard won't let you go. He said if you get in the ocean, you will be banned for two weeks. Fine. I will get in the ocean myself.
Dude, get off the ocean or you will be banned for two weeks. Bowser Jr. is right, Kirby bro. Get off the ocean or you will be banned for two weeks. I agree with Bowser Jr. and Yoshi. Get off the ocean or you will be banned for two weeks. I agree with Bowser Jr., Yoshi, and Birdo. Get off the ocean or you will be banned for two weeks. I agree with Bowser Jr., Yoshi, Birdo, and Yoshella. Get off the ocean or you will be banned for two weeks. I agree with Bowser Jr., Yoshi, Birdo, Yoshella, and Red Yoshi. Get off the ocean or you will be banned for two weeks. What is going on? Kerbro disobeyed your attention. Curve bro. How dare you disobeyed my attention? That's it. You were banned for two weeks. Go home right now. Curve bro. How dare you disobey the lifeguard's attention and get banned for two weeks? But mum and dad. I'm so sorry. Apology denied. You are grounded, 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 grounded for 999,999,999,999 years. This means no TV, no computer, no internet accounts, no fast food, no Wii U, no Nintendo Switch, no Xbox One, no PlayStation 4, and lots more. And we will give away all of your stuff to goodwill. And as a punishment for disobeying the lifeguard's attention, we are sending you to Norway. No 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 not Norway. Anything but Norway. Get in the car now. At Auckland International Airport. Welcome to Auckland International Airport. How can I help you? We would like our son one ticket to Oslo, please. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. And this is for you, Kerfbro. You are going to Norway, because you disobeyed the lifeguard's attention. And don't even think of escaping from Norway. Because if you do, you will be grounded even more. So, goodbye, and good riddance again. Man! This sucks. If I haven't disobeyed the lifeguard's attention, this wouldn't have happened to me. But no! Now I'm going to be sent to Norway as a punishment. 45 minutes later. Flight 449 and 159 to Oslo by Dubai is now boarding on gate 10. Repeat. Flight 449 and 159 to Oslo by Dubai is now boarding on gate 10. Welcome to flight 449 to Norway, in Europe. The flight to Oslo via Dubai is 29 hours. Enjoy your flight. 29 hours later. We have now arrived in Norway, in Europe. Thank you for traveling on Emirates Airline. We hope you enjoyed your flight. Have a nice day. Why did I get sent to Norway? Welcome to Norway. The white area is for unloading passengers. There will be a Norge parking. Later. Oh no. No in space in Norway again, which is too long to go to Norway. Can we live at a new Washington place? No. I am going to push Raider Overseer Scotty into the pool. Ha 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 ha
Water broke pushed me into the pool and I still can't blah 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 blah. Hang on, Scotty. Grab onto the life preserver. Phew. Thanks for rescuing me, Eula. You're welcome, Scotty. And look right there, Eula. Water bro just pushed me into the pool and made me sink. Really? Water bro! How dare you push Scotty into the pool and make him sink? You know that Scotty can't swim, and it is not a good thing to push people into the pool. That's it. I'm calling your parents. And after that, I will give Scotty free swimming lessons. Water bro. How dare you push Scotty into the pool and made him sink? You know that was not funny. Plus, Scotty still can't swim, and he needs swimming lessons. That's it. You're grounded 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 for 100 years. Go to your room right now. No. I don't want to go. Hydro bro. You must. You have to go to the dentist today. I still say no. What if I have a cavity? Don't worry Hydro bro. Cavity or not, if you are good at the dentist, we can take you to some places as a reward. A reward? Well. Don't worry Hydro bro. Like your mum said, we will still take you to some places if you have a cavity. And you will be ungrounded from all of the past times that you are grounded. Fine. I will go. That's what we like to hear from you Hydro Bro. Let's go. Come on Hydro Bro. Hydro Bro. Please go sit down in the dentist room. Your dentist, Dr. Totally, is waiting for you. Hello, my name is Dr. Totally, and I will be your dentist for today. Now, have you ever been to a dentist before? Yes. That was ages ago. Okay, let's see how it looks and see in his mouth then. Hydro bro, say ah. Ah. Oh, uh, wait, what's this? Oh no? This can't be good. What is not good? Hydro bro, when was the last time you brushed your teeth? Um, a week ago. A week ago. Hydro bro, you need to brush at least twice daily every day. You have so much cavities, your teeth are going to weaken and break off any moment. I have no choice. I need to give you a filling now. Hydro bro. How dare you forget to brush your teeth? You're grounded for... Ouch. My crotch. What was that for? Remember a promise we gave to Hydro Bro before? You didn't forget about that, did you? Oh. Right. Sorry Hydro Bro. You are not grounded. But you really need to be good now. Understand? Understand. Okay. I have my special drill that I will use it to the filling. It may confuse you guys. But it is a special drill they make for goat animate guests. And now, I would like everyone except Hydro Bro to leave this room until the filling is done. I will let you know when the filling is over. Okay. Let's go sweetheart. Good luck Hydro Bro. No. Mum. Dad. Please come back. Don't worry Hydro Bro. They will be back. They just need to leave for their own safety. You don't understand how this is hard for me. Bring them back now. Hydro bro. I know how hard this can be. But if you calm down and let us help you, I promise that this won't take long. And your parents will be back here before you know it. No! I want my parents back here right now! Okay. Then I guess we won't do the filling then. Okay that's great. And I will show you something. 
This was Super Mario Odyssey Nintendo Switch bundle I was going to give you, if you had behaved well today, but you failed us. So it's for someone else now. But I really really want that Nintendo Switch with Super Mario Odyssey game. Nope, it's for someone else. If you had behaved, you would have never lost the Super Mario Odyssey Nintendo Switch bundle to someone else. Give me the filling. Oh, so now you want me to give you your filling? Yes. And this time, I will behave. Too late Hydro Bro, I just put the drill back, and I'm not confident using it again. And even if I did and gave you your filling, you would still get absolutely nothing. Okay Hydro Bro, you may have used Go Animate Logic to bring the drill here, but it does not change anything. I'm still not giving the Super Mario Odyssey Nintendo Switch bundle to you. Then don't. I will give myself the filling and take that Super Mario Odyssey Nintendo Switch bundle right out of your hands. In 3, 2... Don't you dare do this Hydro Bro! You will freaking hurt yourself! 1. There are... Oh my god, Hydro Bro, how freaking dare you attempt to give yourself the filling. Now we have to send you to hospital, you are in so much trouble. After the hospital visit. Oh 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 my god Hydro Bro. How freaking dare you misbehave, and then try to give yourself your own filling at the dentist. That's it. You are not only grounded, but you are super duper grounded for 700 months. Get the heck to your room now and stay there. Or else we will send you to Greece, and you will be grounded for extra 500 months. There are... I wonder what I can do today. I know what I can do. I'm going to install Windows XP on my dad. Ha 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 One hour later. Dave. Why do you sound like this? Boomerang bro, get over here right now. Boomerang bro, did you just install Windows XP on your dad? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm going to clone myself three times. Now, let's dance to some overrated Go Animate music of all time.
Must be how dare you clone yourself, you're grounded. I'm going to play loud music. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 That was so funny. Glad my mom and dad haven't. Caught me yet. Shadow Queen Rosalina. What in the world is wrong with you? I can't believe you decide to play loud music randomly at home. That's it. You're grounded, 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 grounded for 400 years. Go to your room right now, and I will tell your mother about this when she gets home. Wow. Hey Miss D. Guess what? You got your restricted driver's license. And because of that, you're ready to drive. Yay 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 yay. I'm finally ready to drive. But if you get just one traffic ticket from the police, you will be grounded. Okay. Okay mom. Good. You may go now. Let's speed up. Oh no. It's the police. I better pull over. Let me see your driver's license and vehicle registration, please. Alright. Do you know the reason why you pulled over today? No. I don't really. Well, it's because you speed at it. How? I use my speed radar to check speed of each vehicle and make sure they don't go over the speed limit. It detected that you were going 85 km per hour when the limit is 50 km per hour. This means I'm going to give you a speeding ticket and 50 demerit points. No 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 Please don't give me a speeding ticket. I'm sorry, but that's the law. Have a nice day, and make sure that your fine gets paid. Oh great. I don't know how my mom is going to be when she sees this speeding ticket. When Miss D got home. So Miss D, how's your day today? I got a speeding ticket from the police. Oh oh Miss D. How dare you get a speeding ticket? That's it. You're grounded, 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 grounded for 400 years. Go to your room right now. I'm going to get Princess Peach into trouble since she is nothing but a big dork. Amazing flying hammer bro what in the name of God is going on? You should take a look at this. Oh my God who tried to harm you with this knife? Princess Peach was trying to harm me with it. What? How dare she? I'm going to call her to my office now. Okay class. We are going to learn about Vietnamese war. Hello. Who is this? This is Miss Bianca. 
I want Princess Peach in my office. Oh, you need to see Princess Peach? Yes. Okay. I will remind her. Thanks. Princess Peach. Miss Bianca needs you to go to her office. Can you do it for me? All right, Miss Julie. God, why is she going there for nothing? I don't know. She must have gotten herself into trouble. Probably. Maybe. Agreed. Because she does not get into trouble just like the Mario enemies. Of course she doesn't. Why would she? I don't know. This is embarrassing. Not as embarrassing as getting some adult into trouble. It could be a student who doesn't belong in the classroom. Guys, I will send every single one of you to principal's office if you do not settle down and concentrate on my teachings already. Whatever. What is it, Miss Bianca? Anything you need for me this time? Princess Peach, did you try to stab Amazing Flying Hammer Bro with a knife? You do realize that is against the school rules. Extremely. What? No? Why the heck would I do that such action? I never do that. Are you lying or telling the truth? I'm telling the truth because I saw Amazing Flying Hammer Bro carrying the knife. I was only in class when this happened. Amazing Flying Hammer Bro was trying to get me stood down. Oh. I didn't know that. I'm so sorry about that. Thanks for helping me understand what you mean. You may go now. Thank you, Miss Bianca. With pleasure. I wouldn't brag because you are a deadly loser. What the heck? That is so unfair. How dare you do my jokes to Princess Peach? I mean, you're making a prank to Princess Peach. That's it. You're expelled. And you will not be awarded on becoming a good student. Go home, you little troublemaker. <laughs> Amazing flying hammer bro, I can't believe you tried to get Princess Peach into trouble by bringing a knight to school. How dare you? That's it. You're granted for 800 months. Now give us the knife and go to your room now. <laughs> Yes. I finally made it back to Auckland. So long as though. Yeah. Home sweet home. Now that I'm back home, I'm going to buy Game of Thrones Complete Seasons 1 to 7 box set on DVD. At the video store. Welcome to the video store. How may I help you? I would like to buy Game of Thrones Complete Seasons 1 to 7 box set on DVD, please. All right. Here you go. Thank you. See you again soon. Now that I got Game of Thrones Complete Seasons 1 to 7 box set on DVD, I'm going to watch all episodes of it right now. Later, after Curve Borrow watched all episodes of the Game of Thrones Complete Seasons 1 to 7 box set on DVD. Wow. Those were some great episodes. Now I'm going to make a grounded video out of Wendy Kepper and make a VHS opening to Mona from 1986 by Warner Brothers. Real, not fake. Later, after Kurt Barrow made a grounded video out of Wendy O. Cooper and made a fake VHS opening to Diana from 1986 by Warner Brothers. Real, not fake. Yes. I made a grounded video out of Wendy Kepper and made a VHS opening to Mona from 1986 by Warner Brothers. Real, not fake. Since my parents are still at work, I will go off to see Fifty Shades Freed in theaters. Oh. Let me guess. 
Curve Bro escaped from Norway, made a grounded video out of Wendy Okepa, and made a fake VHS opening to Mona from 1986 by Warner Brothers. Real, not fake. Wrong. It is seriously fake. Mona was made by Disney, not Warner Brothers. And it was released on the 23rd of November 2016, not 1986. Mona wasn't even made in 1986. And he also bought the Game of Thrones Complete Seasons 1 to 7 box set on DVD. That's it. I'm calling his parents right now. Three hours later. He should have not escaped from Norway, bought the Game of Thrones Complete Seasons 1 to 7 box set on DVD, made a grounded video out of Wendy O'Kepper, and made a fake VHS opening to Mona from 1986 by Warner Brothers. Real, not fake. I know. He's going to be in gigantic trouble when he gets home. Oh no. I'm busted. Oh yes you are. Curve bro. We cannot believe you escaped from Norway, bought the Game of Thrones complete seasons 1 to 7 box set on DVD, made a grounded video out of Wendy O. Koopa, and made a fake VHS opening to Mona from 1986 by Warner Brothers. Real, not fake. The Game of Thrones Complete Seasons 1 to 7 box set on DVD is rated R18. Plus, making grounded videos out of Wendy O. Koopa is not a good thing to do, because it can get you a ton of dislikes on YouTube. And Mona was made by Disney, not Warner Brothers. And it was released on November 23, 2016, not 1986. And what else did you do after that? Um, I saw 50. Shades. Freed. In. Theatres. Kurt Brill! We can't believe you thought that the Shades Freed at theaters! That movie is rated R! We told you not to watch her in the C-17 rated films! And that the Shades Freed is inappropriate! That does it Curve Bro. You're grounded 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 big time. That's right. You're grounded big time for escaping from Norway, buying the Game of Thrones complete seasons 1 to 7 box set on DVD, making a grounded video out of Wendy O. Koopa, making a fake VHS opening to Mona, and seeing an R-rated film called Fifty Shades Freed in theaters. But guys, I'm so sorry. Can you please forgive me, and I promise never to cause trouble ever again. No. Your apologies and forgiveness is denied Curve Bro. Now I'm going to put an epi on you. Oh come on. Not nappies again. Anything but that. Ouch. That hurts. It's throbbing me. I don't care if it's throbbing you. Now your nappy is on, you will go wee wees and poo poos in your nappy, and you will never be allowed to use the loo ever again. And I will set fire to your underwear and smash the loo. Now I'm going to call my users, to come over here and teach you a lesson. 35 minutes later. Wow Curve Bro. It looks like you have lots of visitors. Including Santa Claus here to see you. These are some of my YouTube and Gonomet users, Microsoft characters, Mario and Sonic characters. Pikmin characters, Santa, your teacher and principal. And they are all gonna teach you a lesson. Starting now. I'm Tom Russell. I can't believe you have been a bad boy, disobeyed the lifeguard's attention and got sent to Norway. I'm Weatherstar 4000 video. I can't believe you escaped from Norway and bought the Game of Thrones complete seasons 1 to 7 box set on DVD. I'm Scarlet the Pastel Goth Angel. I heard that you made a grounded video out of Wendy Okupa. I'm Neighborhood Animations. I also heard that you made a fake VHS opening to Mo Anna from 1986 by Warner Brothers. Real, not fake. I'm Stardew's Bob Breyer fan. Curve Bro. Mo Anna was made by Disney, not Warner Brothers. I'm Daniel. Curve Bro. Mo Anna was released on November 23, 2016, not 1986. I'm Stevie B. Curve Bro. Fifty Shades Freed is rated R. And that movie is inappropriate. I'm at the Go Animator, and you don't deserve any respect because you are always causing trouble. I'm Rare Yellow Whoopie, 
And if you patch the comedy world creator, I will spank you in the head. I'm Suya, and you are even worse than Caillou. I'm that blue panda guy, and if you ding dong ditch my house, I will chase after you and you will never be welcome to my house ever again. I'm Nathan Win 75, 87, and you should be banned from going to every movie theater that is rated R and C-17 films. I am Taco Tua, and you should be banned from doing illegal downloads on your computer. I'm CT Cool, and you should be banned from disrespecting opinions and making grounded videos out of innocent users. I'm Samster5677, and if you patch the comedy world backgrounds and props, I will give you a black eye. I'm Amethyst is cutie, and if you don't stop causing trouble, you will get worse. I'm Fartnoise9, and you will be one sorry bro character if you keep doing things that are illegal. I'm Rear Rover here, Scotty, and you are a very bad bro character who always gets into trouble 24-7. I'm Gula, and you should totally be ashamed of yourself for what you have done. I'm Yoshi, and you're banned from going street racing with your blue Mario and me friends. I'm Birdo. And you are a very bad student for farting, swearing, smoking rubbish, chewing gum, yelling at your teacher, throwing chairs, and more. I'm White Yoshi, and you don't deserve to get any good cards on Behavior Card Day because you are a very bad student at school. I'm Princess Daisy, and you should be banned from making fake VHS openings. I'm Todd Ed, and you should be banned from watching porn videos. I'm Cream, and if you eat people, you will be guilty of cannibalism. I'm Ms. Pacman, and you should be banned from playing porn games. I'm Wendy Okupa, and I'm very mad at you for making a stupid grounded video out of me. I'm Kylie Kepper, and you should be ashamed of yourself for all of the bad things 24-7. I'm Santa Claus, and you will keep getting cold for Christmas if you don't stop causing trouble 365 days a year. I'm Hunter, and you are a very bad student for misbehaving and talking in detention. I'm Miss Julie, and you are a very bad 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 student of mine. And I'm Principal Bianca, and I agree with Miss Julie. You are a very bad student who always gets into trouble and doing other bad stuff you did at school. This will teach you a strong strict painfully severe lesson. You will do 3 million pages of homework every day until you graduate. You will also be in detention every day until you graduate. You will be on the naughty list for the rest of your life. You will be wearing nappies for the rest of your life. You are also forbidden from making grounded videos out of me forever. We will also delete all of your internet accounts. You will also be doing tons of chores and community service. We will also take the Game of Thrones complete seasons 1 to 7 box set on DVD away from you and give it to True Animate. You are forced to do tons of exercising without any breaks. You are also banned from making fake VHS openings for good. There will be no porn, no peaches and cream, no rated NC-17 films, no Grand Theft Auto games, no Fifty Shades of Grey, and no other porn-related stuff. You will watch shows like Barney, Bob the Builder, Teletubbies, Caillou, Dora the Explorer, and more. There will also be no fast food places, no deviant art, no fetish pictures or videos, no friends, and furthermore. You will also forget your memories captured by porn. You are also banned from bringing MC-17 rated films to school. You are also forced to play with kid toys as well. You will also play Crash Bandicoot and Spyro the Dragon games that do not come from porn. You will only be forced to watch and purchase G, PG, and M rated movies. And no rated R or NC-17 films allowed. You will also play educational video games like Computer Classroom, Reader Rabbit, Leapfrog and all other educational video games that do not come from porn. You will also watch primetime shows like Shortland Street, Coronation Street, Home and Away, Neighbors, The Simpsons, Family Guy, American Dad, and more primetime shows. You are also not allowed to watch rated R or MC-17 films when they come out in theaters. You will also force to listen to artists like Chicago, Foreigner, Toto, Bonnie Tyler, Paul Young, Cindy Lauper, Roxette, The Police, BGs, and other artists you hate as well. You are also forced to eat kid food, raw eggs, Swiss cheese, grape nuts, prunes, and other disgusting stuff. We will also turn your bedroom into a labor party's bedroom, paint the walls red, and replace all of your stuff with Jacinda Ardern stuff.
you will also go to military school, and you will do the obstacle course every day without any breaks. You will also go to summer school and night school along with your 3 million pages of homework every day until you graduate. You are only allowed to have very cold water whenever you need to take a bath or shower. You are only allowed to have cold breakfasts, cold lunches, and cold dinners as well. You will also go to summer camp for troubled teens, and you will do jumping jacks and push-ups every day without any breaks. You will also go to boot camp, and you will be forced to do whatever the boot camp manager tells you to do without any breaks. You are also forced to sleep outside, even when there is rain, hail, sleet or snow. And if you keep this up, you will be grounded even more, and you will be sent to Greece and other non-English speaking countries. I agree with everyone. Me too. Get in the house and go to your room right now, or else we will send you to Greece. Heck off. I wish all of you were dead. Oh my god Kurov bro. How dare you to heck off and wish all of us dead. That's it. You're grounded forever, and I'm calling the cops to arrest you. Hello. Police. Can you arrest Curve bro? He escaped from Norway, and told us to heck off and wish all of us dead. Okay. Thank you so much. Goodbye. The police are on their way to arrest you Curve bro. Curve bro. You are under arrest for escaping from Norway and told everyone to heck off and wish all of them dead. Get in the police car right now. At High Court. Court is now in session. The case is the people of Auckland versus Curve Bro. So Curve Bro, how do you plead? I plead not guilty. Read the charges, Your Honor. Curve Bro, you are charged for escaping from Norway, selling hot dogs, getting into trouble at school, and more. So. Is there any witnesses to call? I like to call myself to the stand. Okay. So, Birdo, what do you remember? I remember when Curve Bro went to an R18 event called Rhythm and Finds in 2016 and caused all of the trouble he did. And how did you react when Curve Bro escaped from Norway and told you and everyone to head off and wish everyone dead? I say he is a very bad student of mine, and he really needs to die forever and ever and ever and ever. Okay. Thank you, Birdo. You may return to the jury stand. Thank you, Your Honor. Call off your first witness. Two days later, it was... Verdict Day. Your Honor, the jury has reached a verdict to the people of Auckland vs. Curve Bro. What's your verdict? Guilty. 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 Curve Bro. You have been found guilty for escaping from Norway, selling hot dogs, causing trouble, and more. You are hereby sentenced to death by the electric chair by the jury of your peers. Is there any last words before the sentence is carried out? Screw everyone in the world. I wish you were all dead by aliens, and the aliens save me from this execution. Okay. Electricity will pass through your entire body until you are completely dead. Guards, take him away. Court adjourned. This is your cell with no bed, no toilet, no air conditioner, and no sink. You will stay here until the day of your execution. Good life forever, Curve Bro. You have a visitor who wants to talk to you. Curve bro. I heard that you are going to be executed. You are grounded 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 forever. But dad. I'm so sorry. Can you please bail me out, and I promise that I will never cause any more trouble ever again. No. It's too late. I hope you suffer in jail and burn in heck. Goodbye forever. This is going to be a torture. Okay, Curve Bro. It's time for your execution.
Okay, Curve Bro. Follow me to the execution chamber. Sit down. Any last words before your execution? No last words? Good life forever, Curve Bro. He's dead. That's Kurt Barrow's funeral. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video please like, subscribe, and turn on push notifications. This is Intlestar2020, signing off. Okay class. Today we shall learn about time and space. So please bring out your binders. Hey. Amazing flying hammer bro. Are you chewing gum? No. I'm not chewing gum. Then what are you chewing? It's ice. Amazing flying hammer bro. Enough is enough. That could break your teeth. That's it. Go to principal's office right now. Hi amazing flying hammer bro. Why are you crying? Miss Julie sent me here because I was chewing ice in class. Amazing flying hammer bro. You know chewing ice can break your teeth. That's it. 
You are suspended for 100 weeks. Go home now. Amazing flying hammer bro. We can't believe you were chewing ice in Miss Julie's class at school today and got suspended for 100 weeks. That's it. You're grounded for 900 months. Go to your room right now. And don't even think about leaving your room until dinner time, or else we will send you to Greece. I'm going to cuss orders at McDonald's. Welcome to McDonald's. How may I take your order? I would like to have a fucking quarter pounder with motherfucking cheese, fucking steak mince and cheese pies, six fucking filet -o fish fucking nuggets, large motherfucking french fries, and a large motherfucking coke. I can't believe you cussed orders at McDonald's. That's it. I'm now going to call your parents. No 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 Hello. Water Bros parents. Your son Water Bro cussed orders at McDonald's. Can you please ground him? Okay. Thanks and goodbye. Water Bro. How dare you cuss orders at McDonald's? That's it. You're grounded 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 for 200 years. Go to your room now. Well, uh... Hey! Look! It's Krusty Towers. I think I'm gonna stay there. Hi. Welcome to Krusty Towers. Vortex Bro. Get out of here. No troublemakers allowed. But I have money. Okay. Fine. Here's your key. Now pay up. Here's the money. Now carry my luggage to my room. No. You have two feet that aren't broken. But the plaque. We shall never deny a guest, even the most ridiculous request. Ugh. Okay. Fine. I'll carry your luggage to your room. Thank you. Now have Jolie make me a rappy patty with toenail clippings, nose hairs and cheese. Have it ready after you bring my luggage upstairs. Okay. There's your stupid luggage. Okay. Now where's Jolene with my rappy patty? Okay, Vortex Bro. Here's your Krabby Patty. Okay, Vortex Bro. You have your stinky sandwich. Now eat it. Oh, I'm not going to eat this. Yeah. What? No way in heck I'm eating a Krabby Patty with toenails, nose hairs and cheese. But Todico, the plaque. We shall never deny a guest, even the most ridiculous request. Ah, uh, Todico. That's not really a Krabby Patty with toenails, nose hairs and cheese. Okay. Fine. Then I'll eat this. Bye. Uh -uh. Yuck. There is toenails and nose hairs in that Krabby Patty. Sorry, Todico. We are all out of cheese. Ha 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 well, you better go to Pizza Hut and get me a pizza then. Or else I get a refund. Okay, okay. 
Jolene. Go to Pizza Hut and get Vortex Pro a large pepperoni pizza. Okay. I'm on it. When Jolene came back. Okay Vortex Pro. Here. They were out of larges, so I got two mediums. Eve. The pizza was so delicious. Now I really want to go swimming. The pool's out back. Ha ha, are you crazy? I'm not going outside to swim. You, no, what? No, I'm sick and tired of your stupid requests. But the plug says, we shall never deny a guest, even the most ridiculous request. I don't care. You are banned from Krusty Towers forever. Get out of here now. And we will call your parents. Man! This place really sucked. I guess I will go home now. Vortex Bro, we just got a call from today. Oh, how dare you must be at Krusty Towers. But Mum and Dad, there was a plaque there that says, we shall never deny a guest, even the most ridiculous request. We don't care. You are grounded 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 for 800 weeks. Go to bed now. <laughs> okay, class. It's time for math. Take out your books. Miss Julie, can I go to the bathroom? There won't be any bathroom breaks until you finish your math book. But Miss Julie, I'm constipated. I have to go now. Nice try, Darkuba. You ain't fooling anybody. If I was faking, I wouldn't be in so much pain. Okay. I'll let you go to the bathroom just once. But if I see you faking your constipation, you will be expelled. Thank you, madam. I can't hold it much longer. Dark Cuba, you can't go to the bathroom in the hallways. It's disgusting. I'm sorry, Principal Bianca, but I couldn't hold it in much longer. Well, you should know better than to do that. Principal Bianca, can't you see that I'm constipated? I'm not kidding. I swear. Go home, and get some rest while I call your dad about this incident. Thanks a bunch. You're a lifesaver. At home. Dark Hulipa. I just got off the phone with your principal. And she said that you're having constipation. I'll let you rest here until you're better. Thanks, Dad. Oh, and you're grounded for going to the bathroom in the school hallway. Well, crap. This sucks. Mom, can we go to KFC? No, Miss R. We're not going to KFC. We are going to KFC. But, Mom, I want to go to KFC. No, Miss R, we're going to KFC, that's final. I want KFC, 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 I want KFC. Okay, fine, let's go to KFC, best behavior or grounded. Mum, I want to go to KFC. Not KFC engage me 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 Oh 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 Miss R how dare you misbehave at KFC that's it you're grounded for 9 centuries when we get home grounded for 99 centuries Water bro you are ungrounded for life you can do whatever you want to do Yay! <laughs>
Yay. Iron grounded water bro. Yay. Iron grounded water bro. Yay. Iron grounded water bro. Look dad. Hydro bro just ungrounded me. Oh 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 Hydro bro. How dare you unground water bro. You know that he's a bad boy, and he should be grounded for cuss ordering at McDonald's. That's it. I'm calling your parents. Hello. Hydro bro's parents. Your son Hydro bro and grounded my son water bro. Can you ground him please? Okay. Thanks. Goodbye. And as for you water bro. You're grounded 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 for 365 years. Get in the house and go to your room, now. Wa 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 Hydro bro. How dare you unground water bro. You know that he's a bad boy for cuss ordering at McDonald's. That's it. You're grounded 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 for 800 months. Go to your room right now, and don't ever unground water bro ever again. Well, uh... Oh no! Time to go to the bathroom. I'm so glad that's over. Now it's time to flush the toilet. Whoops, it looks like there is some poop in my hands. Normally I would wash my hands but, the hot water heater is broken, and the water will be too cold, so I'm not going to do it. A few moments later. Dark Cooper, there was poop on the toilet flush and, you were the only one to use the bathroom today. Hey! Why is there poop on your freaking hands? Well, I had made a mistake and got poop on my hands while I used the bathroom, and I didn't feel like washing my hands, so yeah. Oh Dark Cooper, how dare you not wash your stinky hands from the toilet flush? That's it, you are grounded 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 for infinity, stay in this room and never come out. Man. I can't buy Whitakers because I'm grounded, and I can't eat anything until lunch. I know. I'm going to sell hot dogs. Alright. Now that I got my hot dog stand set up, I'm going to start selling. Hi Mario. Hi Luigi. Hi Hydro Bro. I heard that you are selling hot dogs. My brother wants hot dogs, so do I. Okay. What kind of hot dogs would you like? I would like a hot dog with ketchup. And I want a hot dog with ketchup and mustard. Sure thing. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice day. You too. You too. So Luigi, where do you want to eat the hot dogs? At the picnic table. Good idea Luigi. Let's go to the picnic table. Okay. Hi Hydro Bro. Hi Vivian. Do you want a hot dog? Yes. I love hot dogs. Me too. What kind of hot dog do you want? Can I have a hot dog with ketchup and cheese? Okay. Coming right up. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice day. You too Hydro Bro. Why are you selling hot dogs? Um. 
just to let people have them. What? Oh my gosh. I'm taking you home. No. What are those things in your pocket and on that hot dog stand? A spatula, an oven, and some plates. Oh my god. You can't take a job selling hot dogs while you are a high school student. That's it. I'm taking you home. 15 minutes later. Hydro bro. How dare you sell hot dogs while grounded and got sent home by chameleon master. That's it. You're grounded 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 for 900 months. Go to your room right now. Where? Good morning class. Today, we will be doing a geography test. So, get out your pen and textbook so get started. Is everything okay Dark Boomerang Bro? Oh, sorry Miss Julie. I didn't get much sleep last night. Well, be sure to stay awake for your geography test. You got it? Yes Miss Julie. Okay. Now get to work. <laughs> Dark boomerang bro. Wake up! Huh. What? You are late to your next class two hours ago. Oh, uh, sorry Miss Julie. You're sorry is not gonna work. Get up and go to the office right now. I mean it this time. Oh. Why didn't I sleep more? Oh for God's sake. What is it this time Dark Boomerang Bro? I fell asleep during class. Dark Boomerang Bro. You know the rule. No sleeping during class. I don't know what else to do, but to suspend you for 40 days. Go home now. When Dark Boomerang Bro got home. Really Dark Boomerang Bro? Why would you fall asleep during class? Now you'll have to do all of the stuff you missed for homework. But mum, I didn't get enough sleep last night. That's why I fell asleep during class. That doesn't excuse your lack of school work. You're grounded for 900 weeks. Go to your room right now. Oh well. At last it's time to get sleep from last night. Man! This room is so hot, and I'm starting to sweat. What should I do to stop the boiling temperature from killing me? Wait a minute. I know what to do. I'm going to break the thermostat. That way, it won't get so hot. I'm going to get my hammer. Now that I got my hammer, it's time to break this thermostat so the house won't be hot anymore. All right. The thermostat is broken. Now I won't sweat my butt off. Hey honey, I think this house is a little cold in here. Should we go check to see what the problem is? Yeah. I think we should. I'm guessing the cause of this is Boshi. Well, I'm screwed big time. Oh my god. The thermostat has been smashed. Yes mum. It's smashed, and if you're looking for the cause of it, it's right in front of you. You. You did this? Yes. It was very hot in my bedroom, so I decided to smash the thermostat with this hammer to make the temperature go down. Great job, Boshi. Now we will have to pay for the damages. You should be ashamed of yourself, young man. You're grounded for 635 months. Go to your room right now. Duck Nabit. <laughs> I'm so going to revive Curve Bro because he died almost a month ago and I want him to come back. Yay! I've been revived by you. Thank you so much Boomerang Bro. You're welcome Curve Bro.
You just revived current bro. Oh, 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 Oh 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 That's it. He's in big 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 trouble. And curve bro. You're grounded for life for being revived by boomerang bro. You are going to watch tons of Nick Jr. shows on DVD. And you will play educational video games when we get home. No 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 I don't want Nick Junior shows on the way and the education all video games. I want Star Wars. Boomerang bro. This is the most worst thing you have ever done at the cemetery to revive Kurt bro. That's it. You are grounded 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 for 600 decades. When we get home, you will go to your room and sleep for 600 months. Let's go right freaking now. No 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 That's Kurt Barrow's house. Now start watching Nick Jr. shows on DVD and start playing those educational video games, or you will be grounded for infinity and you will be sent to Greece. No 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 I wanted Star Wars series, Star Wars movies, Star Wars video games, and Star Wars comic books. Not this junk. At Boomerang Borrow's house. Now go to your room and sleep for 600 months, because you are grounded 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 for 600 decades. Wow. <laughs> Ah, oh, the coast is clear. I'm going to put poison in the lunch food and make everyone go insane. At lunchtime. You! This food is so disgusting. It's like someone put in a very rotten ingredient in them. Ah! Uh -huh. What's that in your hand, Boshi? Um, it's a prop for a school play. No! That's not the case. Maybe it has something to do with that bottle in your hand that made the food taste horrible. Okay, you got me. I poisoned the food in the cafeteria as a prank. Boshi. That's not pranking. You're trying to kill hundreds of students in this school. I'm telling the principal on you. Yeah. She's right. This time, I feel like I deserve to get sent to the office. Thanks for informing me, Miss Pac-Man. You're welcome. Bushy, I can't believe this. Trying to poison your own students. That's really dangerous. But I... No buts. You're suspended until 30 April. Get out of my office right now. Boshi. What is the meaning of this? You try to kill your classmates by poisoning your lunch food. You should be ashamed. Mum. I was only playing a prank. That still does not excuse the fact that you are a possible murderer to Jotha Land High School. You're grounded forever. Go to your bedroom. No dinner for you tonight. God. This sucks. I'm going to eat at McDonald's because I'm so hungry. Welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order? Yes. I would like 10 Big Macs, 10 large fries, 10 large Cokes, and 10 chocolate sundae ice cream, please. But you will get so much fat if you eat all of the food. I don't care. Just give me my food already. Okay, okay. 
Your food will be here soon. In the meantime, go have a seat. Here's your food, Miss R. Enjoy. Six hours later. Wow. That was so yummy. Oh no. I'm fat. My parents are going to kill me if they see me like this. Miss R. I can't believe you ate McDonald's and got fat. But Dad. I was only hungry. I don't care. You are grounded for life. This means no dinner for you tonight, and no McDonald's for eternity. Go to your room right now, Faso. Go now. Wow. That's right. Run, fatty. Man. I'm so fat. Everyone is going to make fun of me at school. The next day. <laughs> In class. <laughs> At lunch. You just got me sacked yesterday. You stupid girl. You have detention every day until you lose that body fat. Is this thing on? Oh yeah, it's recording. Now let's get on with this thing. Hello guys. I'm Boshi, and today, I will be doing the Bean Boozled Challenge. Let's get this challenge started. This first one is berry blue, or toothpaste. 3, 2, 1, go. Toothpaste. Not bad. The next one is buttered popcorn, or rotten egg. 3, 2, 1, go. You. I got rotten egg. That tasted horrible. This next one is juicy pear, or booja. 3, 2, 1, go. Oh god. I got booja. That doesn't taste good at all. Okay. The next one is coconut, or baby wipes. 3, 2, 1, go. Yuck. I got baby wipes. That flavor is terrible. Alright, this next one is tutty frutty, or stinky socks. 3, 2, 1, go. Yes. I got tutty frutty. Best flavor ever. This one is lime or lawn clippings. 3, 2, 1, go. Oh my god. I got lawn clippings. That doesn't taste like lime. The next one is caramel corn or moldy cheese. 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah. I got caramel corn. That tastes cool. This one is either chocolate pudding or canned dog food. 3, 2, 1, go. Gross. I got canned dog food. That flavor sucked. This next one is peach or buff. 3, 2, 1, go. Yes. I got peach. The flavor is cool. Uh oh. This one is a very bad one. This last one is either licorice or skunk spray. Let's hope it's licorice. 3, 2, 1, go. You, 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 I. God. Skunk. Spray. I. Think. I'm. Going. To. Oh crap. Worst flavor ever. Well guys, that's the end of this challenge. See you guys next time. Bashi, did you just do the Bean Boozle challenge? Oh no. I'm sorry guys, but Bashi is grounded.
Bashi, did you just do the Bean Boozle challenge? Tell me the truth right now. Um, 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 um. Yes, I did. Bashi, how dare you do the Bean Boozle challenge? That's it. I will force you to each cook spray jelly bean. Open up. Here comes the airplane. Whoosh. Oh crap. Not again. <laughs> Hi, I'm Frost Bro, and today, I'm going to freeze people. Hey Frost Bro, there's a basketball game starting at 6 p.m. Would you like to come? No, I will freeze you all. Frostbro, how dare you freeze my friends? That's not very nice. Yay, I froze all the people in school. Frostbro, please report to my office right now. Frostbro. How dare you freeze people? That's it. You are suspended until term 3. Go home now. Frost bro. We can't believe you froze people. You know doing that kind of prank can get you arrested. That's it. You're so grounded 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 for 668 months. Go to your room now. Wee. Okay class, today we shall be practicing on being lifeguards. If you don't save someone, then you fail. Okay. Let's begin. 2.5 hours later. Okay. Let's begin the results. I did great. That's Fry Tales. You are now a lifeguard forever. Feel free to swim anywhere as long as you want. Now, I'm now a lifeguard forever. This is so cool. Hooray. I did good. That's right, Cosmo. You are now forever a lifeguard, and for this, you will tell your parents that you did good. Yeah. <laughs> Not half bad, Kali Koopa. But I will settle it for you to be a half time lifeguard. Okay then. I will be ready when someone is in danger. Oh no. I did not do good enough. That's okay, Larry. You can do better on doing lifeguard practicing next time. Oh, okay. What the heck? I hope I don't fail again. That's right, Coin Bro. You get 2.0 points for not saving someone and messing around. Go home now and your parents will ground you. R. I hate you. Hey, I did not practice enough. I'm the worst lifeguard ever. That's right, Dementio. You were playing Roblox on your mobile instead of saving someone. You get 1.2 points. Go home now and your parents will ground you.
G R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R Are you serious? I failed. That's right, Dark Sledge Bro. You did not do good enough practicing. Now go home. You know what? Curse you. Um, 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 um. May I please have another chance? Absolutely never. I saw. You did not practice enough to save someone. That's it. You're the worst lifeguard ever. Go home now. Miss Yaw, how dare you fail lifeguard class? That's it. You are so grounded, 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 grounded for 136968 years. Go to your room now. What on earth is so funny? It's a show called Banana Sunday. It is a talk show, and it's the funniest show ever, am I right honey? Yes, these people are funniest ever. Mom, how dare you call them the funniest people ever? That's just like saying I'm not as funny as them. I'm way better than them. Magic bro, that's just about the dumbest thing to get offended over. I was not insulting you. In fact, if you are going to bother us by getting offended over a little things like that, then I ask you to go back to your room. Ugh, fine. Man, I wish I was like those people on Banana Sunday. I wish I could appear on TV show that wasn't hated by so many people. Wait, I have an idea. I will do just that. Since Banana Sunday is on Live TV right now, I will raid the studio and steal their show. That way I will get the recognition I deserve. Ha 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 I hope the building they are filming in this somewhere around here. Come on. Where is this place? I'm getting pretty tired. Yay. I found it. Okay. Now let's go up to where they are filming. They should be filming their show right past this door. Has anyone seen Magic Bro? I just checked his room and he wasn't there. I haven't. The last time I saw him when he went to his room. Oh well. I guess I'll watch some on Banana Sunday with you Alan. Hi everybody. I'm Magic Bro. I'm way better than these losers. I'm the funniest person ever. Ha 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 ha. Magic Bro's in so much trouble. Let's go get him. He will be grounded for life when he gets back here. Magic bro, get over here right now. You are in deep 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 trouble, young man. Mom, why did you have to say my name while you're yelling at me on my TV? That was so embarrassing. Well it serves you right. What you just did was very 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 bad. We are going home now. And you will be grounded when we get home. Magic bro. We can't believe what you just did. That was extremely disrespectful to the host of Banana Sunday and you probably just ruined their reputation. You are grounded for life. This means no TV, no computer, no video games, no hanging out with your friends, no rated R and NC-17 materials, and no doing anything that you find fun. Go to your room right now, or else we will send you to Greece.
No. No. So Blair, when do you think we should get married? Um, I don't know. Eula, please come back for me. And Oshie, how dare you try to marry my girlfriend Eula? I guess this means we can't get married. Right, Blair? That's right. I hate you. We are going to have a divorce and I'm calling your parents about this. No 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 no
990. That is correct. Good job, Wendy. Dementio. What is 90 times 26? Ah, uh, 41,802,226. Dementio. That is incorrect. The correct answer is 2340. Dark Dementio. What is 15 times 39? Uh, 947,747. Dark Dementio. That's incorrect. The correct answer is 585. Oh, this is a fire drill. Everybody line up. Fire drills are so noisy, boring and make your ears bleed. Yeah, fire drills suck. Fire drills are so stupid, dumb, and very loud as heck. Hey Dementio and Dark Dementio. Guess what? What? Shut up. Very boring. Yeah, very boring. Shut up. Again. Alright class. The fire drill is over. Let's go back in. You two should have shut up. Well, everybody did well in fire drill. Except for Dementio and Dark Dementio, who were being disrespectful in the fire drill. Go to principal's office now. Dementio and Dark Dementio. I'm very disappointed in your behavior. I heard that you two were being disrespectful during the fire drill. So this means, you have disobeyed the fire drill. And because of that, you both are suspended for a month. Now get out of my office. Dementio and Dark Dementio. Your principal called and she said that you were being disrespectful during the fire drill and you got suspended for a month. That's it. You both are grounded for 690 years. Go to your rooms right now. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>